As the summer winds wind down, single tear on that, many people are heading to the beach. In California, they could have lots of company in the water. Recent drone images from near Los Angeles show these juvenile great white sharks swimming alongside the people. Yikes. And they've been displaying, you could say, some very surprising behavior. Carter Evans shows us what's been happening. Getting into the water with great white sharks seems like a terrible idea. I don't dare stand up on this board. We're just off the coast of Santa Barbara and within minutes. This shark is, is so close, I could almost grab its dorsal fin. It is right underneath me. Now scientists say that shark is not interested in me or other people. Watch this huge shark swim right up to these unsuspecting children and simply turn away. The population of these great whites off SoCal beaches is exploding. I can only see it now because I'm getting up high. If I were a surfer, I'd be lying down and I'd have no idea it was underneath me. Oh my God, oh my God, don't bite him, don't bite him. Wedding photographer Carlos Gauna started capturing these stunning images off the coast when the pandemic dried up business. Almost every time I see an interaction with a human and a shark, my heart does pound. We've all been conditioned ever since Jaws came out to fear that interaction. But this is far from Jaws. Watch as a large shark calmly cruises along with surfers. This one approaches a family. A swimmer is headed right toward another, and all of the sharks seem uninterested. Despite the fact that people are out there thrashing around and their arms are hanging off boards and legs are hanging off boards, sharks just ignore it. Chris Lowe is director of the Shark Lab at Cal State Long Beach. Why don't they want to eat us? Well, we don't really fully know the answer to that question. First of all, we're not close to being on the menu. Most of the sharks spotted off Southern California beaches are juvenile great whites. Despite their size, they're only up to about six years old and very inexperienced hunters. Take it off. Lowe's team showed us where the sharks use the warm coastal water as a nursery. When they're born, they're completely on their own. The safest place for them to be is in shallow water. They have to learn to feed on what's there. And the number one thing that's there are stingrays. Carlos's video shows that they're very aware the surfers are there. Yeah, in fact, we've been able to document sharks recognizing that somebody is nearby, so they know the sounds of a person swimming and surfing. So they've learned that we're not a threat. It kind of seems that way. But Lowe says that could change if people start going after the sharks. They're a wild animal, and if they feel threatened, they will defend themselves. In 2019, the Coast Guard had to airlift a surfer who was bitten by a shark off Santa Rosa Island. But Lowe says unprovoked great white shark attacks around here are extremely rare. I mean, we're essentially telling people here, don't worry about the baby great whites in the water. But does the same thing apply on the East Coast? Actually, no, there we have adults that are there to feed on seals. And those seals are sharing the beach with people. So that's a very different situation. Even in Northern California, I'd be a lot more hesitant about getting in the water. But off the SoCal coast. This shark is just swimming so calmly and so gracefully right now. Lowe's team is working to eventually predict the conditions that would lead to shark encounters with people. I'm kind of hoping in about five years, you will get a rip current report and you'll get a shark report. They say these videos and my interaction are just more examples that beachgoers and great white sharks can coexist, at least in Southern California. For CBS This Morning, Carter Evans, Santa Barbara. I don't know if I want a shark report. I don't think <laughs> Carter does either. He wasn't really trusting the science. Not even a pinky went in the water. No, he was on that I board. wouldn't put one in either. I have great respect, though, for sharks. You know, they're so vilified, but the people that work with them and know yes. them say they're really, really fantastic, great animals. Yeah. You just want to be left alone. They're stunning creatures, but stunning I, just, creatures. I just don't want to be there at the no, right moment. No, I'm with you. Yeah, I like my limbs. Yeah. <laughs>